It's 1.12 p.m. I started by, uh, the fire at uh, 1 o'clock on the dot. Um, the last time I looked, the temperature below the grate was 234 degrees, and I have great gas. It's really hard to believe at that low temperature. I'm sure it's loaded with tar, but at this point, uh, I've got good gas. Anyway, the goal for today is to correct my huge error of having a really clogged output filter in this area, less hot temp. Well, things are running. I have uh, the basic engine itself, which I assume consumes about one quarter of the uh, of the maximum load just to run itself. 1,500 watts. One of the two heaters is on, and another uh, I don't know 150 watts with those two small lights. And at 136, I added the uh, the load. Today, the blower is still on. I make the assumption with my last run that having the blower off would be better. But I forgot to turn it off, and things seem to be going well. So right now, I'm not going to mess with success. I have 1,208 degrees above the grade, and uh, just about 600 below the grade. I'm packing the uh, wood chips very hard, and uh, my last couple of tests I had used some Oreo cookie sized pieces of wood, and I'm avoiding all those today. Uh, with this higher, tighter pack uh, fuel bed that I'm doing today, I'm seeing a suction on the grate around uh, two inches uh, vacuum, minus two inches water column, which is much higher than I've had in the past. I'm hoping that that will get me to higher below the grade temperatures as the run progresses. We will see. During my last hot test, I had a totally clogged up uh, chunk of uh, fiberglass as a filter in the upper right hand chamber, the filter box. And uh, I, I think it had been creating terrible problems for me. I mean, really clogging things up. The numbers today are a lot different. Well, it's 2.05 p.m. and it's still cranking away with the, I don't know, 1,500 and about 150 watts. Well, 150 watts. It's about 50 degrees outside today. Halfway up the gasifier, it's just starting to get warm. I, I just measured it at 123 degrees. It had been uh, well over 200, 250 the other day. I think it's because I was using uh, bigger wood Oreos and the fire would burn up a lot higher instead of my packing the Dickens out of the wood chips like I'm doing today. gasifier right now is 327 degrees 
that's about uh, six or eight inches above the bottom. I'm using uh, a garden hose to supply water, cooling water to the left hand tank and uh, that's now running at about 107 degrees. It was coming in at around 49 degrees, I believe, this morning when I first started out. The temperature at the top of the cyclone separator is 90 degrees. That, I'm assuming, is about the temperature of the fuel gas going into the engine. It's 2.28 p.m. I just had to turn the load off. The engine was uh, bogging down. Uh, I think my uh, fiberglass filter is plugging up. Uh, I think that's the load. I just uh, turned, shut the engine off, and uh, opened the flare. And I lit the flare, and the flare is lit, but I could see the smoke that was coming out of there was very lazy. So there's just not much happening. Well, I have to say, I'm really surprised that it's making gas. Well, here is an interesting development. I hope you can see the gauge here. It has never been that steady when I've been operating with an engine or just with a flare, which is still surprisingly lit. I don't know if you can see the heat waves, but it's still lit. Anyway, my point is that about the only reason that that can be doing that is that the filter is plugged, but we'll find that out shortly. Also notice that in this condition, whatever it is, we get all kinds of smoke out of here. Even though the blower's running and the flare's going and so on, there's not enough system suction to suck that downward. So I'm gonna try a little experiment here right in front of uh, the whole world. And I'm gonna open the filter door and uh, and kind of, you know, look down in there and see if it looks all plugged up and if the smoke goes away here at the same time. So we see smoke. We see gauge being much steadier than normal. Here we go.
Already we see the gauge is changing. Smoke is gone. Really interesting, okay? So we close that up. Tighten this baby up so smoke can't come out of there. gauge is wiggling around a little more we must have moved something but we get smoke again so I'm making the broad assumption that the filter plug which is the reason we had to end the test